we've all heard the old saying that it's better to work smarter than harder and when you start when you learn to start writing computer code one of the things that's very important for you to learn is how to write code from the beginning to develop good habits so that as your pages get long and complicated you're still able to go in and find errors easily or fairly easily in other words don't do something now that's going to create problems for you later this is one thing I don't like about many of our textbooks in writing computer code many of them in order to save space will just uh, in the textbooks they will just left align all of the code along one along the left side of the page and they don't indent their code as you see me doing here giving indentations to make uh, some of this stuff make sense to give you a good example about why uh, this is important to do uh, here I have a file this is a, a page that I built in XHTML 1.0 strict and um, you see the way I've indented uh, so everything that belongs within the head section is indented inside of that head section and then here begins the body tag and then I have a div tag and then there are div tags within div tags and what goes inside of this div tag is indented within it and I give myself lots of white space in between the lines I give myself lots of tab space uh, all the way through you see lots and lots of white space and it's because it's a it's easier for me to come in and see where the code is see where groupings of code are and um, and then to troubleshoot uh, the page now just uh, to sh give you a bit of a contrast I changed this page with all of its nice indent indentations to look like this and just took out all of the indentations I did leave in some white space like here and here I could have uh, closed all of that up but see it, this would be much much more difficult to, to read through and you have to squint and find things and say well, you know where does one thing start and another stop and doing it like this with indentations and white space just makes all the sense in the world now let me show you why adding that white space does not cause you a problem at all here I've created a basic HTML5 page and I've called this page working with white space white space HTML and in the body section I simply have the sentence do not be afraid to use lots of white space in your code so I've saved that file now I'm going to click uh, run launch it in Firefox and there you see the page do not be afraid to use lots of white space in your code I'm going to right click on this page to view the page source and here you see the page source it looks just like my code it's nicely indented and I can read it I can troubleshoot it I can find any problems right off all right so let's go back and let's do this to our code let's come in here um, let's see if we can make this sort of do this like pretty poetry and and sort of space things out and make them um, sort of cute to look at do not be afraid to use lots of white space in your code now the question is how would this look on my web page does the fact that I use the enter key to put a line to force a line in my in my text here does that line show up in my code now you will notice that whenever I make changes in any part of my file I do have to save the file so that means the file has changed but if I come to run and click launch in Firefox it's exactly the same see Firefox opened a new tab here's the old tab here's the new tab if I click on the view source tab and uh, view the source here you'll see that my code looks exactly like it did when I typed it so you can enter all kinds of white space in your code I could do this 
lots and lots and lots of white space. And I can tab this line way, way over here. Several, uh, what would that now be? I'm on column number 293. I'm going to save this and it'll run in my browser and it looks exactly the same. Use white space to make it easy on yourself. Write your code in such a way that it's easy to go in and find your mistakes. Group things together. Indent things uh, that uh, indent things that fall within categories of other things. And uh, don't you just develop good habits now. Make it easy on yourself. Develop a style that makes it easy for you to write this code.